Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. When I first think of the open waters, I think of a refreshing and clean drink. So much in the clear waters and beautiful lakes and rivers are spread across the mountains. But soon, I realize that our research gives us another side, a harsh reality to something that we think of as serene. Surviving in waters are tough, especially for beginners, kids, and the elderly. And without proper guidance, it's even harder. That's why we're committed to sharing our knowledge of water safety with you. Water survival is all about taking action and being mentally and physically prepared to face challenges and staying alive in dire water situations. We are here to share our knowledge of water safety so not just you, but everyone that you can reach understands it. Dear audience, lend us your ears and mind as we present to you Waters of Wisdom, a Choral Symphony. In the vast expanse where war disaster looms, types diverse a tale of nature's booms. Water survival, a skill we must gain. In this wicked realm, our wisdom shall reign. Oceans, lakes, rivers, and pools unfold. Sources of life, tales of adventures retold. Yet risks abound in currents and chill. Drowning, hypothermia, and illnesses instill. Welcome to Seven Skies International News. Today, we bring you a local report about a tragic incident involving a seven-year-old child who had drowned near the coastline of a beach in Perdixon. Authorities believe that this tragedy could have been prevented with proper supervision from the child's parents. We urge everyone to be aware of the current weather situations and stay safe. Learn to swim, a skill that saves. Life jackets worn like ocean waves. Supervise children, currents beware. Alcohol and drugs, a perilous affair. Facts and stats, a sobering plea. With knowledge and caution, let safety be. Drowning accidents happen too often, and it's important that we follow the water safety principles, not just for us, but for everyone else's sake. Whether you be having flotation devices in hand, knowing basic swimming and rescuing skills, or as simple as keeping, or as simple as, well, keeping, a, minding your own children, we have to take the, initi the initiative to prevent drowning accidents. Let's avoid any more tragedies, along with the hefty hospital bills that come with them. Drowning whisper silently, signs to know. Rescue methods like the ebb and flow. CPR and first aid, skills for found. Safety equipment, rescue devices found. In an, emergency in an emergency situation, ensure the scene is safe, check for the victim responsiveness, and call for help if needed. If the victim is not breathing properly, perform CPR by doing 30 chest compressions to two rescue breaths in a cycle. Break. Perform this until emergency services arrive. If an AED is available, follow its prompts after doing the CPR cycle. Remember, proper training is essential for better results. Turn in open water, energy conserve, flow track signal, the knowledge you preserve. Improvised votes, a boy in creation, merely life encounters, navigate relation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Skywalker Cruise Lines. As we embark on our journey, we would like to take a moment to ensure your safety. In the unlikely event of an emergency evacuation, life jackets are located underneath your seats or in designated areas around the vessel. Place the life jacket over your head with the strap hanging down. Fasten the straps around your waist and pull them tight to secure the jacket. Secure the buckle snugly and adjust for comfort, entering no access room above your shoulder. Put three fingers in between the jacket and your shoulder and lift it up. If it reaches your ears, tighten it to prevent suffocation during water escape. A whistle is provided to attract attention. 
Remember to stay calm, tread water, float, and keep your head above water. Thank you for your attention, and we wish you a safe and enjoyable journey. Cold immersion challenges, hypothermia's grasp, clothing on, huddle close, a positive clasp, rules of threes, a guide through the freeze, survival strategies, the cold water keys. Hypothermia occurs when your body loses more heat than it can produce, often in freezing environments. Recognize, recognize signs such as, as extreme fatigue, pale, pale or blue skin, slit speeds and uncontrollable shivering. Act immediately and get them out of the cold environment, remove wet clothes, offer them warm towels and warm drinks and seek medical help if the condition is severe. Boating, kayaking, adventure slide, snorkeling, diving, the ocean as a guide, fishing, swimming, pleasures unfold, no water conditions, regulations. This is collaborations by Giardiasis cholera, symptoms inside. Purify tree in emergency severe, waterborne illnesses, knowledge should hear. Hi, I'm Koyum from Skywalkers News Channel. We've seen a recent surge in waterborne illnesses within our community. So we are here to join with Dr. Myra who will elaborate more about waterborne illnesses. Waterborne illnesses are sicknesses spread through water which can include viruses or parasites leading to symptoms ranging from stomach discomfort to severe or even potential fatal infections. How can people protect themselves? Prioritize drinking clean and safe waters, good hygiene practices, proper food handling, and, uh, proper food handling, and uh, avoid swimming in potential contaminated water sources. On the beach, these are usually marked by safety signs. Don't swallow water while swimming, and always shower afterwards to wash away any germs. Thank you, Dr. Myra. Key point summarize, key point summarize wisdom game, water safety, survival skills forever retained. Engage in choir, let, let curiosity flow. In the waters of wisdom, let survival grow. As we conclude our presentation, let us reflect on the Islamic teaching that emphasizes the importance of safeguarding lives, including one's own life and the life of others. Our exploration onto water safety goes beyond more than just practical knowledge. It is an opportunity to explore human resilience and waters, water safety principles <laughs> and human resilience. As Muslims, we are reminded of our duty to be proactive, equip ourselves with knowledge, and to extend our assistance to those in need. Let us hope what we have learned today turns into action, making us and those around us more stronger and more resilient in any situation. May our efforts in water safety go may our efforts in water safety may our efforts in water safety serve as a reflection to our faith driven commitment to safeguarding lives and nurturing resilience. Thank you. And we hope our journeys are marked not just by the challenges we face, but by the strength we discover within ourselves to overcome them. Awesome.